The tomb of Petosiris is a unique tomb among the ancient Egyptian tombs. That's in its design and its scenes, and the way these scenes were executed, and in the subjects and the texts inscribed on them. Its owner is Padi Uzir, or the gift of God Osiris. He was a high priest of Gatot, Lord of Ashmunin, and he was buried here with his father Sishu and his brother Jet Tehut Iu Efanch. The facade of the tomb resembles the facade of an Egyptian temple, and it's composed of two holes. The front is a pronaos, and the second is a naos. On both sides of the entrance that leads to the naos are hieroglyphic texts that tell the long biography of Petosaris and his family and his wishes that the visitors pray for him and present offerings. These texts are very important historically. The Nao ceiling rests on four columns and its walls comprise many religious scenes. One of the important ones is the scene of Petosaris' funeral in the presence of Goddess Nut, who steps out of the sacred tree of Heliopolis to bestow on him and his father and his brother offerings. Beside it is a scene of transporting the canopic jars which contain the internal organs of the mummy on a chariot, while rows of servants and followers carry different pieces of funerary furniture and head towards the tomb. The scene of the purification of the mummy is there, where we see Sishu standing in his mummy form in front of a tomb with a pyramidical top. In front of him stands his grandson Ziho, wearing the tiger leather, which means that he too has become a chief priest of Gatot. He pours water on the mummy to purify it. At the bottom of its stairs, there is a scene of slaughtering the cows which were to be presented as offerings to the deceased as a sacred ritual performed as long as it's possible by his family members.